Do you want to know how to take some of your low resolution photos and upscale them and fix faces just like this one here? Well, today I'm going to go through the process using this old photo of me from about 10 years ago. I'm here with Hoist Gracie from the UFC and I never got a high quality version of this photo. I'm going to show you how I upscale it to get these results. I'm going to cover a few different tools with this process and you could probably just stick to one or all of these. All of them is going to get you the best result, but one of them in particular is probably going to do a good enough job on its own. Now, the first tool is free. It's called GFP GAN. Now, there are a few different places you can go and I'll definitely pop some links in the description. Otherwise, you can simply go to Google, type in GFP GAN and you can find a few different interfaces you can use. This interface here on Hugging Space is not too bad and you can simply pop your image in there. Make sure you've got the latest version crank that rescaling factor up and submit, and it'll produce the whole image. However, there's a bit of a cap on the size and it might not be big enough for what you want. So we can actually go to the full interface for better results. Now this is the full GFP GAN interface and it does require a few steps to use, but I will pop a link in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. So the way this works is we're gonna scroll down and we just gotta tick the little play button next to this clone GFP GAN here, and we click run anyway. And then we simply give it a minute or two to go through. Once you see a little tick here, we scroll down, and we upload images or use demo images. So essentially we need to upload files here, but to do that, we have to hit the play button on number two. I upload my file. Please note this can take a few minutes. I'm editing out the weights. And then when I see the tick, then we're good to go. I come down to three, and then I click the play button on three. We see the tick, move on down to four and click the play button on four. And you can see my original image and then my face, the original and this face, Hoist's face. So it's all been upscaled and fixed. All I need to do now is download the results. So I click the play button again and save my image. I get this zip file here, which I'll extract. You get a folder here called results, go to restored faces, and these are the full resolution faces cropped. But if we come out of that folder into restored images, we get a full image, but it's not quite a full resolution. It's only 1920 by 1280, not as large as the restored faces. So that is something to pay attention to for the future because it may be worth actually upscaling with another program and placing those faces on. So it has its limitations, but if we come back out to CMP, we can actually compare the original and the new by opening up those images in there as well. Now GFP GAN does the best job restoring faces, but the next program does a pretty good job as well and can upscale the entire image pretty effectively. And we're gonna look at Topaz Photo AI. Uh, you can use Topaz Gigapixel as well, but Photo AI just has a few more features available to it. I'm gonna drag my image in. It's gonna scan and auto detect a few things and it's come up with some automatic settings for that image. However, what we wanna do, we've got an upscale here of four. I'm gonna drop that to max. So we get a maximum upscale of six. And there's a few different models here I can choose. I can go through and figure out which one I think looks best. Standard generally gets you the sharpest results. However, it can often bring out little details you don't necessarily want. However, that's pretty good so far. But down here we have recovering faces. So if I come down to that, I can crank that strength up to full or bring it down and you can see how it looks a bit funny without it. So it's a pretty good feature for fixing faces. I move over to my face and it's done a pretty good job. Not quite as good as GFP GAN, but still pretty good. What's also good is if I move to some of these details, it has upscaled those details. They're not perfect, but if you're talking about printing a photo here where we don't have the information to work with, it's pretty good. It's fixed that text pretty well on the gate. So overall, I think that's a pretty good result. And when we're ready, we go to save image and you can actually do this in bulk as well. And it's got a little suffix here, which says gigantic. I'm going to call that Topaz. So we know which one is which I'm going to save it to my original folder as a high quality JPEG and click save. And it will take a few minutes to upscale that image. And this is our result. As you can see, the image looks pretty sharp. Definitely going to print a hell of a lot better than the original. And there's some really good facial details here, which when you're doing photos of people, that's what you're really trying to focus on anyway. So, not bad overall. So considering the maximum size we were able to get was 6X out of Topaz, and we got a smaller image out of GFP GAN, but with larger faces, I'm gonna drag my original into Photoshop. Now let's see what we can make happen with this image right within Photoshop. One thing I can do is go to Filter, Neural Filters, come down to Super Zoom, 
and I'm going to press this till we get to 6x. I can keep going, but I don't think it's necessary. And to be honest, the results are probably not going to be that good anyway. But I do want to show you this and also look at what we can do to fix the faces after we've done it. We do have enhanced face details. So I'm going to turn that on and let's hit OK and put this on a new into a new document and see how it turns out. So you can see here, it hasn't turned out very good. The faces are a bit of a mess and a little bit hard to see. But let's backtrack. What if I simply go to image, image size and upscale it by 600%. That's actually probably a bit better and a little bit less crazy to look at. But if I do go to filter, neural filters, down the bottom there's a photo restoration feature we can turn on. And you can see it does an okay job of fixing that face. We can play with these sliders to try and improve it more. But overall, that's about as good as we're going to get, which is pretty good, just not quite as good as what we've gotten so far. But I'm going to click OK, and this is our Photoshop image. So this is the best we've been able to get with Photoshop. There's a bit of a weird issue with my eye there, and the quality is not quite as good. But this is what I actually recommend doing. You're going to just zoom out, drag in your Topaz image, and pop that on top. Now straight away, that is a lot better, and you could probably run with that if you wanted to. What I also recommend is since you have a good upscale and the rest of the background looks pretty good, that'll print pretty well. I'm gonna drag my folder across and these are my GFP GAN results from before. I'm gonna to go to restored faces. I'm gonna select both and I'm gonna pop them in there. So there's mine and there's hoises. Now, these, photo, these faces are not as large as the ones we've upscaled, but some of the details are just a bit better. So what we can do is we'll start off with Hoist's face. I'm gonna make that layer. By clicking on the layer, I'm gonna make it about 50%. And I'm just gonna to attempt to overlay that and get the position right. And the way I tend to do this is find one extremity and another. So we've got a nice little point here for reference. I can pop that point in place there. And then I can resize. And his face has actually been rotated a bit. Pop my little point there, try and rotate it into place a bit. And you can see we're starting to get there, just not quite. And we just gotta line these edges up. And I move this point around until I can get it where I want. And I think that is looking pretty good. It's not perfect. But for now, I'm just gonna turn it off and move across and do the same with my face. And you see this face here, if I turn it off, it's got a few improvements on my original face. It's a little bit sharper in some areas. But what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna come across over to Hoist over here and I turn his face on. I'm going to hold down Alt and click the mask tool to create a blank mask. While I'm clicking this mask, I get the brush tool, make sure I have white, bring that size down just a touch. And with the facial features, I'm gonna paint those back in from the GFP GAN image. So you can't really see the difference, but if I turn this on and off, you can see that it changes just a little bit. It fixes up some of these details. It looks a bit better. I do the same with my face, hold down Alt, mask, and then I simply paint in the areas I want, such as eyes. It's done a better job with the eyes and the teeth and some of the hair. And of course, if I get a little edge like this, I can click X to change my brush to black and just kind of softly fix that up. So now I've been able to upscale this image and fix the faces using a combination of tools. And that's probably the best way to go, especially if you're a professional photographer or someone who does this for a living. If you have access to these three tools, it's actually a really good way to go. The one thing I didn't do is make Hoist's layer 100% opacity. Mine is, his isn't. But now when we zoom in, the faces are looking a little bit natural, more natural, because they've been upscaled using GFP GAN, which does a slightly better job than Topaz Photo AI, but overall is pretty solid. Now, one thing you can also do if you really have some issues with some of the details, like we've got over here some funny text and there's a few things in the background that might not look as good, is I can hold down A, hit Control A or select all at the top here 
go edit, copy merged, and then edit, paste. And what I can do from there is zoom in on some of these areas that are a little less uh, sort of important to the photo since the faces are kind of what we're after. I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and there's nothing wrong with taking some of the background and blurring it. So I'm basically just gonna blur this a little bit so it's not quite as easy to see some of those upscaling errors. And then I click on the layer, add a mask, and I'm gonna get my black and I'm gonna just, I can either paint out what I don't want. So I can sit here with the brush and paint that out. Or I can come down to my original and go to select subject. And I have both of us selected. I then come to my layer, select the mask, and I make sure that I put the black on the right, hit delete. And so now we're both sharp. The background's blurred, so we don't get as many of those issues. We're both sharp and in focus, and it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but if you're looking to get something that's more printable, there's definitely gonna be the better way to do it. Now, one thing you might also wanna do is pick out little blotches like this, click the layer that that part of the face is visible with, and even just get your little healing brush tool, rasterize a layer, and just kind of fix up some of those pieces so now it looks a bit more natural. So you can obviously take it to a different level then and use, like do your photo repair and do some more with that. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. You can save that image and go with that. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. There are links to all these tools in the description below. Have a great day and hope to see you again soon.